go. Click install now. One, two, three. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you an exercise in extreme willpower and restraint. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See this little yellow thing or orange icon at the top? This. Let me get that in focus here. Yes, this. This has been on my screen for the past three days and I have not updated. That, folks, is extreme willpower. Now there's a method to my madness and there's a reason why I did that. Let me explain. So don't get me wrong. I really want to get that new update. That new update, by the way, is 2019 36.2.1. I really wanted all the features on it, but I'm gonna do a little experiment. Together with my buddy and I, Tessa Milton. Say hi, Anthony. Hello. This is Anthony from Tessa Milton. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test out two features on the new uh, update. So this is Maven. As you can see, I just washed her, she's clean. <laughs> I'm actually kidding folks, she is dirty as can be. We are at the Mississauga Supercharger, Anthony and I, and we're charging up because the two things we want to test, the two features, are A, the stopping mode, so we don't need, really need to be charged up for that at the same amount, but what we also want to test is the power increase. Now Anthony has the new 36.2.1, <laughs> I don't. So we're gonna do, I know we did this uh, a few months ago, if you saw that video, uh, when we had the previous 5% increase. If you haven't seen that video, look up here, you'll see that it didn't make much of a dif difference, but this one is supposed to be a, a little different. Yeah, it's supposed to add another 5%, and in a previous video I saw where someone did the similar tie at test, zero to 60 or zero to 50 or whatever, uh, there was a pretty good significant difference. So I wanna see if that is true in a cold climate like this. So that's why we're charging up. We're both gonna charge up to 80%. We both have long range real wheel drive cars. We both have winter tires on. So it should be a decent test. Once again, it's not a scientific test. We're just um, fooling around here. And the other thing we wanna test is the stopping mode. Now for stopping mode, we don't need um, it to be the same battery level, but we are charging for the, for the acceleration and the performance. But what we're also doing is we're trying to eliminate, because it's freezing cold out here, we're trying to eliminate the lack of regen. Because if you're in a cold climate like you saw in my last video, you get lack of regen. So we're hoping by supercharging and charging up the batteries to the same level, which is gonna be 80%, we're gonna eliminate any kind of a lack of regen. So when we do the stopping mode, Anthony's car, car has the new stopping mode, my car doesn't, it's just got the regular regen. So we'll see what the difference is, if there is any. Okay, let's begin the test. We're going to start with the uh, stopping mode test. We're just going to go to an undisclosed area and test this out. Yes, I know. I have to do the update. Not right now. Okay, so we're in a car, in Anthony's car. What's your car named? Anthony. Midnight. Midnight. Okay. Mid we're in Midnight, and uh, Anthony's, like I said, 2019.36.2.1, and he's going to show us how to put it into, um, what's it called again? Stopping mode. Stopping mode. So the menu's changed down here. So before you had creep on and off, and if you had it off, you were just defaulting to roll. Now you actually have a menu option to go creep, roll, or hold. So you put it on hold, and then the car will actually decelerate and come to a complete stop versus just rolling a lot more or not. Sweet. Okay. And then mine is just... Okay, and, and on my car, if you come up here, uh, driving, you see that all I have, because I don't have that feature yet, all I have is a uh, standard and low for regenerative braking and I'm gonna keep it on standard like I always drive. Okay, we're recording now and uh, I got Anthony on my right. I'm gonna be on the left. We're gonna go up to uh, 30 kilometers an hour. I got uh, Anthony on speakerphone. Say hi, Anthony. Hello. <laughs> and uh, that's how we're gonna communicate because it's too cold to open up windows and stuff like that. So when we hit 30, uh, what we're gonna do is at a predetermined point, we're gonna take our foot off the accelerator and see who uh, decelerates first now because I won't actually come to a stop because this is the old style regen without the um, stopping mode uh, I'm gonna keep going so when I hit five kilometers an hour I'm gonna stop and we're gonna measure the distance from there not official I don't have a tape measure or anything like that we're just we're just gonna measure it so you ready Anthony yep we're ready okay so let's go up to 30 kilometers try to stay maintain the distance between each other the same Okay, I'm 25. Let me catch up a little bit here. 30, stop. Okay, I'm doing eight, seven, six, five. So I'm at five. Anthony is, whoa, 
Anthony is way by easily. What what would you say? You're in front. You're behind me. You can tell probably two car lengths. Uh, probably probably one. Yeah, probably one car length behind your back bumper. One car. Okay. Okay. So let's try that one more time because I don't think we were exactly even when we. Yeah, I think we need to accelerate a bit faster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna try it one more time. I don't know. This is take number or test number three or four. I forget. I've lost count. Um, we're gonna go up to fifty again and at that last blue pole we'll take off the accelerator take our foot off the accelerator and see what happens ready anthony i'm ready okay let's go now yeah i'm sorry too. <laughs> okay i am doing 50 50 50 50 off nine eight seven six five I'm stopping. This one's a little more even. That's like a car length right there. Okay, so that's the stopping mode. Now the next one we want to test is the pure, raw, unadulterated acceleration or the power. <laughs> it's supposed to be 5%. So Anthony and I are going to test it. We've got the exact same cars, the exact same battery, warmth of the battery and everything like that, condition of the battery, same tires and everything. So once again, like I said, this isn't going to be scientific folks, but we're going to do our best and hopefully we see some measurable difference. Okay, we're here. We're here in um, an undisclosed place in northern Mexico. And as soon as this Mexican light turns green, we're going to go. Anthony's on my right. And uh, we're going to see who goes faster. Uh, there's some uh, Mexican federale police there doing some uh, uh, construction. Is that Just remember it's 60. It's 60, yeah. We're, we're only testing this to 60, 60 right? <laughs> 60 miles, right? They might get the... Right yes, okay, so I got up to uh, uh, 60. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, went, I went over 60. Yeah, yeah. I, I got up to 64-ish. <laughs> we're lined up. Yeah. Okay, this is take two. I'm on hold. Anthony's right beside me, and we're both going. And wow, that is a noticeable 5%. We're at 100. Okay, you got me by almost a whole car length there. So that is 5% difference, folks. Uh, the 5% they did back in the spring was not 5%. Uh, not that, well, it, maybe it was, but I didn't notice it. But in this one, I certainly do notice it. Anthony, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I like doing that. I love this car. <laughs> that was a uh, that was considerable, was it not? Did you now since you've had the update? I can't speak to it because I don't have the update. But I can ask you: since you've had the update, have you noticed the acceleration or the performance increase? Uh, I, I don't actually floor it that often, so. Uh, no, no, no. You can be honest with us. <laughs> yeah, well, also, also because the weather's been so bad the last couple of days. Here in Mexico. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here here in Mexico, uh, with our un un unusual snowstorms. Um, <laughs> climate change, really it's climate stuff. change. <laughs> yeah, because of climate change. Well, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, because of uh, the fact that there's been so much snow and ice on the roads, I haven't really been trying to uh, floor it because, you know, you just don't do that on snow and ice. No, no, we, we, we want to put out there to everyone that, you know, we drive responsibly. Um, we're doing this test in a very controlled manner. Uh, we're not pu putting public safety in, in any harm in any... Way, way shape or form uh, it's controlled we're going up to 100 kilometers which is 60 miles roughly thereabouts and um, there's no one around to uh, endanger anything like that. so I want to make that very clear all jokes aside about the Mexico thing and stuff like that um, but we just want to see the acceleration and it's in a straight line uh, and you can definitely notice the acceleration that the difference in the acceleration which basically is the performance at 5% performance now this is what I expected when I saw uh, the update back in the, in the in the spring. And there you have it, folks. Those are the two features that I wanted to show you in the new update. The stopping mode, as you can see, made a difference, and that's great. I can't wait to do the one-pedal driving thing. And then the 5% uh, power increase, or just the power increase in the performance. That was actually noticeable. 
yeah, that was a cool result. That actually made it worthwhile. I'm going to go do the install right now because I can't wait any longer. So that's all I got, folks. I want to give a big, huge thanks and a shout out to Tesla Milton, Anthony. Without his help, I couldn't do this uh, video. So I want to thank him for his expert driving skills and stuff like that. And you know what? He's got a small YouTube channel that he's starting out. Come go check it out. I'll put a link for his channel in the description below, the comments and stuff like that. Go check out his channel, support him. He puts out a lot of good stuff. That's all I got for you folks. Thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next one. See ya. Here we go. Click, install now. One, two, three. And she's updating.